I want to assume we all have a light bulb in our respective houses. The man responsible for that is named Thomas Edison. And he said, I have not failed. I just found 1,000 ways that won't work. This is a story of a man who failed 1,000 times before he succeeded. He even went ahead to say it was an invention with a thousand steps. Beneath this story, behind this success, is a man who failed big time. He didn't just fail one time or a hundred times, and he failed a thousand times. I can't begin to understand the pain and frustration he must have gone through, how he felt when he failed, what made him wake up every morning and start again, push, rise from the failure, and succeeded on the 1,000th time. But what I do know is that somehow I use a light bulb and it's all thanks to him. When I was 16 years old, I wrote a qualification examination for the university of my choice. You see, my mom was an alumna of that university. She was very excited that I would be one day attending the same university. So I wrote the examination and I failed. Most of my classmates had passed the exam. I was among the very few that didn't qualify. My family, friends, teachers were all disappointed in me. Although I knew deep down in my heart that I didn't prepare well for the examination. I was still depressed, angry, sad, scared that I was the beginning of the downward slope of my life. Fast forward to the next year and then I prepared. I read, I studied as I should have. The result came out and I passed but my grade was too low to qualify me for the university I wanted. I felt shattered. I felt like nobody would ever be able to relate to the pain that I felt that year. I mean, I prepared, I studied, I read, and I did everything that I knew how to. And I still didn't get into the university that year. That was the lowest point of my life. And I had never felt so weak, so useless so incapable. I truly felt like a failure. The truth is that failure is real and it can happen to anyone. Nobody is excluded. Sometimes it is correct to even say that we are the architects of our failures. Why? We procrastinate. We waste time. We don't do what we ought to do when we ought to do them. Yes, sometimes we are responsible. But sometimes we work very hard and give our all, burn the midnight oil, and yet we fail. And we can begin to wonder if we will ever be good enough at anything. Today, I want to tell you that you can, you can, and you can. Again, I decided to take the examination to give it my all, go the extra mile. Like Thomas Edison, I was prepared to learn from my past failures and find another way. I realized being a good student wasn't enough. I needed to be better. So I read for more hours, practiced more questions, went the extra mile. I didn't give up. I couldn't give up, not at that point. I had come too far to go back. I didn't think of all the years I had failed. I looked forward to that one day, one result that one moment that was going to change everything. And I got it. Not only did I do well, but I was also the third highest in the state. So if you're asking, where do I go from here? How do I get here from there? Is there anything I can do to turn this shit around? Or when is the right time? I have an answer for you. Go forward put in that extra fall and get right up again. Do it. Do it now. I know it won't be easy. Like the hell it won't. But after you cry, after you fall, after you hurt, wipe those tears and buckle up those boots. Get those books and start again. Do it again and again and again till you get your light bulb, till you get your result. 
Till you get that degree. Till you get that medal. Do it. Just do it. I mean, what more do you have to lose? One of the greatest basketball players of our time who holds the record for most points ever scored once said, I have failed over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Michael Jordan. So yeah, fail. Fail again. And when you are done failing, gather those failure and turn them into stepping stones for your success. I believe in you. I do. If Thomas Edison could do it, if Michael Jordan could do it, if I could do it, you sure can too. So, do it. <laughs>